Welcome back to the Valor Knight. Today we're going to be playing the Steward Sphere. Now, I have attempted this quest. This is like the 11th try. I think this is my 11th attempt. So, I'm done after this attempt. So, I'm going to post this attempt, win, lose, or draw. <laughs> I'm posting this one. Because uh, I would like to move on with the game and play some of the other quests that aren't as frustrating as this one. Basically, there's eight locations we're going to have to get through in this game uh, to place progress. We're investigating a conspiracy theory um, from the... Uh, leader of Menace Tirith from the um, steward, the steward, thus the steward's fear, and we're going to try to unveil that conspiracy if we can, but it means we're facing an underworld deck, these villains uh, that we're not going to know until they pop out of the deck. Uh, so this quest deck uh, can do a lot to you. I'm playing easy mode because, again, this is attempt number 11. I've tried five different decks. I don't know why I'm struggling so much with this quest, but it is what it is. Uh, so hopefully we'll be winning. And so I'm bringing done here because uh, done here fears no trolls uh, and he fears not the steward's fear so when he's attacking alone he gets plus one attack um, we're going to be equipping him with the one ring um, and we're going to take strength and courage uh, which gives me an additional plus one i know that i obviously i understand that one of those is only when i'm attacking the staging area uh, and then we're going to be equipping strider um, I don't exhaust a commit to the quest, and I get plus two willpower, as long as I have less than five characters. So here we go. Turn number one. Let's see what happens. All right, we got double back, which is going to be really helpful. Um, we got Keldon Traveler, which I think I might go ahead and play, because uh, he's secrecy two. And so one... Secrecy is going to go to resourcefulness, some resource generation, and then we're going to play him. And I look at the top card of the encounter deck, and if it's a location, I can discard it. It is a location. I, it says I can discard it. I don't have to discard it. Because um, that's a pretty easy thing, but it's three threats, so why not? Let's just get one location down. Actually, what am I doing? I need the location, but I won't be able to quest. I don't think I'll be able to quest for enough, so we'll discard it. We'll go with that. All right, for questing, again, I don't exhaust, and boom, and the card we get is in the quest phase. Okay, well, that could have always been worse, I suppose, so that's fine. Uh, we will just mosey on to the next round. Resourcefulness will get me an extra resource. Um, I could Ancient Mathem. I could also Daron's Runes for a little bit of card draw. Let's go ahead and Daron's Runes. Okay, I get Handmaiden. Or sneak attack. I gotta discard one of these. Oh. I guess we're gonna say buy a sneak attack. I'm gonna get the extra questing power while I can. That reduces my threat by one. And then let's commit to the quest. Alright, card we get, market square, make four progress. Uh, which is fine. That would have been nice to make one more so I could clear that because I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make one. Uh, but that'll be the end of that room and we will move on. I'm going to go ahead and put double back into the staging area so that I can quest against it when I want to. I do not want to yet, though. Uh, so we're still going to be questing against the main one. Actually, we can quest against this because this is a forced effect. So after the location leaves play, I place a resource token there. All right. Um, I get my plus one for resourceful. And we're just going to quest with that, exactly as I had it. Alright, we get the Underworld Dissident. And he gets plus one for each Underworld location in play, plus one attack, so there are no Underworld locations in play. So we make a single progress, which is enough to clear. And so we will detach that, discard, and let's see what we get. Secret map. Exhausted here to claim this. We can place three progress tokens on the active location. Alright, well, we'll go ahead and... Actually, I'm going to hold off. First, it's now combat phase. He has four. I'm attacking for four when I attack into the staging area. So swing for four, kill that guy. And then we will exhaust this, up my threat by one, ready myself, give myself two resources, and claim this. Oh, I had the travel phase in there. I want to travel there. We just have to spend a resource. So. Boom. All right, there we go. And we can move on to the next round. Plus one. For resourceful, and I feel like Elf Helm will be a good choice, but I'm actually going to save him. Let's get some card draw. Uh, and we're going to let go of the Aether Swordsman. I want timely aid. 
but I cannot play it just yet. I have to wait next turn. Let's go ahead and play Ancient Mathem onto this location. And for questing, I'm only going to send down here. I only need to make one progress. Uh, we'll send the Traveler too. Okay. Card we get, City Street surges into the sewers. Okay, so this actually went well. I should have sent everyone. So, you know what? We're going to retroactively send her. So, one, this gets Underworld, and then it puts another, it puts an Underworld card under the active location. And then it gets one. So it's two progress, which is enough. Um, so one there, one on double back. We will, I want to detach that card. Clear that, so that draws me three cards. And let's see what it gave us. Wow, okay. Uh, that's really awesome. Exhaust a hero to uh, place two progress tokens on the current quest. Uh, well, one there. And then... Um, I'm going to exhaust a hero. Go ahead and grab this one. So there we go. Now I've got both of these. Uh, the city streets, we have to travel there due to its... Well, it's the staging area. We can't travel to a location that doesn't have the title city streets. So we literally have to travel to city street. And... I could go ahead and clear it. But I'm not going to do that. We're going to just move on the next round. Alright, this deck has a little bit of Outland stuff, but I'm going to try to save some allies because there's some cards later that are going to kill me. So, I'm going to save some money and uh, lower my threat when need be, because we're questing fine. So, we're going to keep questing. And we get Surge, reveal a card from the Underworld deck. So, that card is the Pickpocket, and then the Surge is the City Street, which surges into this. Randomly select an ally controlled by the first player if able. The first player deals X damage to one of his heroes where X is that ally's attack, then discard that ally. Okay, well it'll be the Handmaiden, because attacking for zero. Uh, so, bye to her. I raised my threat by three. Made no progress. Um, I really need to lower my threat, so I'm going to think about that next turn. I'm going to swing for four into staging, which will kill him. And we can move on to the next stage. Let's get my resourceful coin. And I'm going to play one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Lower my threat there. All right, it's getting plus two, plus two. There we go. So questing, I should be okay, and I still only have four. Allies. There's no cards that's going to deal damage to my allies until I engage at level 17, so that's kind of what I'm trying to hold out for. So we're going to quest against the double back, and the card we get is the same card, which reveals the Zealous Trader and surges into this. Okay. Attached to the hero with the highest threat cost without a copy. When attached hero readies exhaust or triggers an ability, we raise its threat by one. Okay, so that's definitely going on to me. All right. Make four progress. So one, two, three, four. Clear. Place something there. We have to travel here. And then I'm going to swing into the staging for four. Kill him. And I have to raise my threat by one. Um, I'm going to raise my threat a ton. Let us go on into the next round. I just have a feeling. So I ready, so I raise my thread again. Very stupid, um, but it is what it is. I don't think I have anything that can get rid of condition attachments. So it just be what it be. All right, let's just do the same thing in terms of questing. Actually, I'm not going to send. Oh wait, he doesn't exhaust a quest, so we're good. All right, and the card we get is the sewers. So and no one, thank you. So one goes under it, one goes under the active. Hello, come on. All right, make five progress. So one, two, three, four, five. Chunk that to the victory display, lower my threat by five. All right. And then detach that because we clear that location. So let's come there. Place our last progress here, so we're moving on. Reveal the set-aside plot card. All right, and then uh, we make the roots the active location. 
it gets a underworld card. As you can see, I'm very used to this quest because this is about how far I make it. All right, and let's see what we get. Okay, at the end of the round, raise each player's threat by two. Wow, so I'm raising my threat a ton um, because of this. So, yeah, we're still going to make four more progress. Okay, let's see what we got. All right, another trader that I hate. So we're going to swing for four, up my threat, kill him, and then go into the next round. So I'm going to ready. And that'll up my threat by one from the thing, and then two more from the plot. So I'm going to have to quest really hard, really fast here. So let's Arwen, and then actually uh, Arwen second. We're going to timely aid first. So timely aid. I could get Arwen for free, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to get Glorfindel. All right, and now Arwen. And so this is a significant more questing power. So I now have more than five uh, allies, so I lose that boost. And still quest for free, but now I really don't have to. Uh, okay, sending seven. I might as well, I guess. All right, eight card we get is dissonant, so we make five progress. One, two, three, four, five. Places of progress here, detach. And we get the Lost Ark Bandit. Um, we will travel to the sewers. What's this? 24. Okay. I'm going to swing for four, kill him, raise my threat by one. Then I can kill this guy too, I think. I'm just going to be raising my threat by a ton. Um, hmm. Elf Helm would be great, because he says, when your threat is raised as a result of questling unsuccessfully or by encountering a quest card effect, we can reduce my threat by one. So I absolutely need Elf Helm. I don't know what I've been doing. Because there's no limit to that, so I don't know why I haven't put Elf Helm out yet. I'm so stupid. <laughs> Alright, we're going to raise it another one to exhaust this. Ready. Give myself two resources. That raises it an additional one. Um, I'm going to have to Gandalf. Then we're going to raise it by another one to give myself plus two to this attack. So I'll be attacking for one, two, three, four. Sorry, I can't do math. One, two originally gets doubled to four. Four plus the additional two that I get makes it six. So then I swing again for six, which will kill that guy. And now we will go into the next round, which readying ups my threat. And then the other thing ups my threat an additional two. Resourcefulness, and then one, two, three, four. We're going to bring in Elfhelm. So now that Elfhelm's in, when he's ready, um, after a threat is raised as a result of questing successfully or an encounter or quest card effect, reduce your threat by one. So this is an encounter card effect. So when this would ready, so basically Elfhelm cancels this out. So that's nice. I feel like I should have had an extra resource because I had four. Yeah. I can sneak attack Gamloft to draw up my threat by five. Which might be a really good idea. Um, but I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait in case one of those zealous traders comes out. And then I'll sneak attack again off to deal the damage to him instead. Alright, we're going to send everybody on the quest again. And let's see what we get. Okay, storehouse. Nothing terrible. That's seven progress. So one, two, three. Clear that. Another resource there. And what do we get? Pickpocket. Okay. Uh, for travel, this place is worse, so we'll travel there. Uh, swing for four. Elfhelm keeps me from raising my thread from this card effect. Uh, so we kill that guy. And we will go into the next round. So I raise my thread an additional two. And I have Sind for Aid. Hmm. My threat's going to go way up, but we're going to go ahead and place in for aid. Here we go. And uh, I actually want it. Oh, come on. I want it there. All right. Requesting for 11. The card we get is in the quest phase. So can't do anything about that. Um, 
So that really just sends us into the next round. Oh, I did not mean to do that twice. So back down one, put that back, and then up it one, two, so 28. Really wish there was a way to lower my threat because 45 is actually my threat limit. So resourcefulness comes in. Let's spend three for a traveler. I get to look at the top card, and if it's a location, discard it. Okay, well, it's going to surge, whatever it is. Um, so here we go. Sending everybody on the quest. This surges into the storehouse. So we make 11 progress, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. All right, so move that to the victory display. Look at the top 10 cards for an ally. And let's Northern Tracker. Okay, we detach this, we clear it. So we place progress here. This comes in, it is a pickpocket. We will yet again travel to the storehouse, swing for four, and kill the pickpocket, and just move right along. Now at the beginning, I'm going to take this action to place three progress on the active location. No, I want to place two progress on the current quest. So move that to the victory display, place two progress, which is enough to clear it. And we go here. When revealed, reveal the set aside villain card. Okay. And then shuffle the encounter, shuffle the underworld deck into the encounter world, into the encounter deck. So here is the underworld deck. It gets shuffled in there. And I think, do I do the discard pile too? It just said the deck. So I'm assuming that's not the discard pile. So there it goes. It shuffled in, or whatever one card that was. <laughs> And let's see what villain. All right, daughter Bruithel cannot be optionally engaged. Well, that's not a problem. And after she attacks, we return her to the staging area. The engaged player may raise his threat by four to present, prevent that. <laughs> Actually, I want you in the staging area because that's where I'm going to kill you. All right. And it says we can't defeat the stage while the villain is in the play. After the stage is defeated, the players won the game. All right. So we're going to need to quest, but we're also going to need to keep back people who can defend. Um, might be Gandalf time. I could Gandalf for some damage, but I'm going to save Gandalf for a second. We're going to quest, because I can discard cards. We're going to quest with everybody. He places a little progress right there. All right, so we're sending 11, and I can quest with this guy without exhausting. Sending 12. Card we get is that, so that's 9 progress. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We detach that, clear that location. The revealed card is, of course, the Zealous Traitor, the one card I did not want coming in, because he'll do till da deal 2 damage. So now I'm going to sneak attack Gandalf, have him deal 4 damage, kill that guy. All right, for travel, we're not going to travel because that'll clear itself. Uh, this guy's going to, and both these people are going to engage. This guy should have engaged me. No, I just drew this guy. All right. Let's, we're going to discard uh, Amplast Herdsman to ready Glorfindel. All right. Attacking for five. Um, who do I want to defend with? <laughs> we could defend for two because of uh, Arwen. Hmm. We'll actually defend with done here. Taking it makes plus two. So taking for six, defending for two. So that would be game over. So we won't do that because I'm very upset about this quest. So taking for six, defending for four, two damage. All right. Then attacking for two. Uh, all right. Done her swinging up. So. Um, I'll defend, the way this one gets plus one, so he's attacking actually for three, so, hmm, mm. Elfhelm can't defend because he's keeping this thing open, so, I gotta think about this, <laughs> well, if I can deal a little bit of damage to where Gandalf can swoop in and kill, but I can't pay for Gandalf, can't pay for anything. 
I'm just going to have to raise my threat a bunch this turn, I think. So I'm going to defend. Let's not defend with Elfhelm. Let's defend with Dun here. Okay, it's not an offended, but I still am going to take a damage. All right, and then swing back for... We'll clear those. After they attack, we return to the staging area. I'm not going to raise my threat to deal anything with that. Since Elfhelm's still up... I don't want to raise my threat yet, so we will exhaust this, raise my threat by one, ready. Let's give myself the money. And now that I'm ready, I will swing for five here. And then raise my threat by one, give done here. Double attack, so he's hacking for one, two, three, four, five, six up into the staging area to deal three damage. And I know that did up my threat by one because Elfhelm's not ready. And with that, we will move into the next round. Gandalf got sneak attacked in, so he comes in. I raise my threat by three. I get my resourceful money, and I could Gandalf to kill and then quest for the end. So that's what we're going to try to do. So one, two, three, four, five. Gandalf's going to come in, deal four damage. So kill the daughter of Baruthiel, and we will try our best to quest through. So here we go. Use quest for free. It actually clears this location. And the encounter card we get is the sewers. Oh, and no more underworld because it's now been shuffled. So make 15 progress with that one. Uh, and with that, we have beaten Stuart's Fear. Just barely, in the most annoying fashion. This card was the bane of my existence in most, most of it, because I, I tried this with the one deck, and I just kept getting this on Elrond. I technically died a second ago with the one choice I made, but I'm not going to let that happen. I'm so tired of playing this quest. Jurdad Forest will hopefully be a little bit of a nicer experience than the Steward Spear, but honestly, the Heirs of Numenor is like the hardest box in the game, I think. I really can't understand why but it literally is like the most difficult <laughs> one to play but that's it that's uh, the steward sphere so i will see you all next time